Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this one I want to show you Unity's new progressive light mapper. It was released with Unity 5.6. It's very cool and very fast. And I want to show you how to use it. Let's go. Okay, so here's my very complicated scene which I've spent hours making. I've got a plane and I've got my six cubes. And what I want to show you today is Unity's 5.6s, which you can see here I'm using in the top left, um, progressive lighting system. So there's a couple of things we need to do before we do we set up a light bake. We need to make sure that all of our objects we want baked in the scene is set to light map static, um, and also that any lights in the scene are set to baked. I think by default they're set to real time, so let's change them to baked. And then we need Unity's um, lighting panel. And to get that, if it isn't there for you already, you go to Window, Lighting, and then Settings, and it opens up a tab. So you can just click that tab and drag it to where you need it. Um, right, there's a couple of settings here which um, you might have on or off. Um, you need to uncheck real-time global illumination. We'll bake that into our scene. Um, also, um, your mix lighting, you can just select baked indirect. It's going to bake all the lighting information, including in the indirect lighting into the maps. And then if your light mapper settings are in lighten here like this, just change it to progressive and then that will all be set up to use um, the new system. Also, um, to increase your bake speed just for the sake of testing, I think by default it's on 40. If you set it to something like 10 just for testing and uh, you can uncheck auto generate if you want. Um, so what is progressive lighting? Well, that's, this is a really cool thing. So the progressive lighting system works by any change you make in the scene, it will prioritize the camera view and it'll bake in real time and give you a live update in the scene view of how the lighting calculation is being um, rendered at, at that specific time. Now that sounds like a little bit of um, uh, well, like, what the fuck? Um, but uh, to show you, I'll make a, a quick demonstration. I've got a light in the scene, it's set to baked. I will now click on generate lighting in the lighting tab and it'll bake our data. And there we go, that's kind of done already, it tells you how down here and it brings in um, the lighting information uh, and it's stored our light maps in a folder here uh, and as you can see we can move around the scene and it's baked already it's only low quality settings um, but here's the cool thing if you tick on auto generate every time we make a change to our scene now the lighting information will be recalculated but it will prioritize the, the camera view so you see it's baking down there uh, and it's finished already <laughs> I didn't even get to show you and um, what we'll do is we'll move a cube and uh, hopefully we'll see it around the edges you can see where it's prioritizing because it'll be a different color so if you move the cube now move the camera you can see you can fo kind of follow it around that black area is where the light map is currently being calculated so move it again and off it goes it's doing it progressively so there follow it around the scene and that's that's light baking sort of data done sort of on the fly so we can just go ahead and add another light Let's add another uh, point light to the scene. Um, you can notice nothing happens. It's not baking any new light data. That's because we need to change our light to baked. Boom. And then you can see it starts baking straight away, uh, prioritizing um, the camera view here. Um, so we move our light, it does its funky stuff. It's prioritizing again. And this is really great for artists because um, you can get like an update on what the light maps are going to look like pretty much instantly, um, which is going to make lighting um, so much easier uh, and so much more sort of fun and engaging to, to do. And because you're getting updates sort of straight away, so you're not going to have to like, wait an hour or even more in some cases before you come back in the next day and, and realise you totally effed everything up. Um, so I, I really like it. I hope you guys t do too and I hope you, you've, you've learned something from this tutorial. Um, that's Unity's progressive lighting. Um, awesome. So that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to stay up to date with new content. It's coming out every week. I've got Unity tutorials. I've got some more um, exploring to do. Uh, so it's going to be a busy summer. Um, it'd be great to share it with you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time.